Let's head back to the cruise in Port Orchard, Washington. Lou Becker, this is a beautiful 1939 Ford, and in a moment I'll tell you why in some people's eyes 39s are cooler than 40s. I mean, do you already know? But anyway, tell us a little bit about this car. Okay, well, I purchased it back in uh, 74 and started the restoration about 77 and probably completed it, or mostly completed by about 83, 84. And you kept it all stock. And I kept it all stock, right? Yeah. Uh, why? I mean, most I, I, that's a great choice. But most guys that got their hands on something like this, that have a 350 small block in it, a 49 inch, and all the rest of the stuff. What made you stay stock on it? Well, just because I wanted uh, something to remind me of high school, I guess, more than anything else. So I just wanted to keep it basically Ford and stock. Yeah. And the color. This is a stock color, right? It's a stock color. Ford called it cloud mist gray even though it appears to be green. I'm a little bit fearful of confusing the viewers, but this has always been a little bit of a mystery to me, how between 39 and 40, there seemed to be such a variation of headlight configurations and grill configurations, whether it was a deluxe or whatever. Um, tell us a little bit about that. Okay, well, this is the last year that they had a bulb for a headlight. Uh, 40 went to a sealed beam headlight. Uh, as far as appearance goes, the 39 Deluxe and the 40 Ford Standard are very similar. Uh, the front fenders are interchangeable. I could put a 40 Standard grill in this thing. It would fit. And uh, that 39 was the last year for floor shift. And the 40s went to a column. Uh, 39 was the first year for hydraulic brakes. On this, the, the, the secret that I was referring to, and you just mentioned it, I, the floor shift is really cool because it's original, and then I love the fact that these have no wing windows. Right. Uh, they had an accessory, kind of a wing window that you could purchase aftermarket, but uh, uh, these windows for ventilation, they basically, when you started to crank on them, they would roll back a little bit to create kind of a, a vent window, and then they'd proceed on down as you roll it down farther, yeah. Powertrain on this, you got a flathead in there, of course, so which one do you have? Uh, it's the 85 horse, uh, 221 cubic inch, and it's a stock flathead in there. Is it true that it runs hot? The flatheads are, are famous for that. Got 170 thermostats in there, and unless the temperature is up around 90 degrees, I don't have any problems. If it's a 90 degree day, it might get up to about 180 or so. Lou, thank you very much for being on the Vintage Vehicle Show. This is an absolutely beautiful car. Thank you very much.